I had a request to make some videos on making custom sprites. So I'm going to go over some brief basics of making sprites, saving them, then uh, using them in your program. First off, you want to type load sys slash spged and run it. Uh, this is your sprite sheet editor. I've gone ahead and uh, made some made some Pokemon sprites and uh, I'm just showing them on my screen to kind of show them off. First off I want you to hit the plus in the corner to zoom in until only the first pink box is visible. If you look on the right you'll see your colors and the first one is black with a line through it. Uh, this is your negative meaning that it will be clear when you actually put it in your program which is why I generally use the gray color underneath it <clears throat> as a black substitute when spriting. On the bottom you see preset line and paint. Preset is how you paint single pixels. A line makes a line and paint is a fill tool for filling large areas with one color. Uh, everything else I'll explain in more detail in a future tutorial. Uh, let's say you've made all your changes that you want and now you want to save it. Um, press the, the Y button, type S, then hit enter, type your file name, and then type Y and hit enter. Uh, click through some dialog boxes and uh, you're done with the first phase. Now open up a blank program and I'll show you how to load this into your program. Pretty much all you have to do is add uh, load and then GRP4, and then whatever your file name is, in quotations, uh, into the top of your program. And then it'll, it'll prompt you to load your sprite sheet. And uh, then you could just use it just like the default sprite sheet. Uh, I haven't figured out how to remove the prompt yet, but I'm sure it's in the commands list somewhere. Um, in my example, I use the same program uh, that I used before to display the, pr the sprite sheet. And uh, like I said, I'll go over all of this in more detail once I'm done explaining all the sample programs and sample games that come with PTC3D.